Ladies and gentlemen, there's a recipe for mayonnaise. If you're not sure, that's what it looks like. I think you probably knew that. But this is homemade. It's lovely. Hello, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. I'm going to make mayonnaise, which actually is the very first video I ever did on this channel. But it's really rubbish. Uh, I put it in private settings because it just was, well, it was awful, but it's my first try. So I thought I'd have another go at it. It's a very simple thing, really. But um, I also want to show you how to rescue a mayonnaise when it goes wrong, when it splits, or also known as when it's broken. So first of all, let's make a mayonnaise, and then we'll see if we can get one to split. And, uh, anyway, I hope you find this video useful. So what is mayonnaise? It is a condiment. It's in a sauce, it's an emulsion. So that we need to use eggs and oil. I'm gonna show you a way I use here without using a stand mixer or any form of mechanical mixing appliance you have, which by all means use, but I thought if you don't have one, this is how I do it. By making a very stable base with a cloth, a saucepan that the bowl will fit into, so that is going to be rock solid and won't move while I whisk away. And I have my free hand for pouring in the oil. So, separating eggs, you know how to do that, I'm sure. That was white wine vinegar, and that is a bit mustard. And yet, yeah, I licked my finger. And what? Right then, you don't need to whisk vigorously, but you need to whisk continually. And you add the oil in really, really really slowly especially at the beginning just a few dribbles and don't be afraid just to pull away stop pouring keep whisking and making sure that what you just poured in has mixed okay the moment it splits and we're going to do a split one later uh, you can then once it starts splitting you can whisk and whisk and whisk but you're not bringing it back that way so how does it work well see here we go thank you internet proteins and lecithin in the yolks act as emulsifiers with the oil there you go thanks wikipedia and the french invented this in honor of duc de richelin who apparently very fortunately beat the english in some sort of battle but remember agincourt boys remember agincourt we few we happy few all right then so i seasoned up the one i made and here we go, let's deliberately split one. I've never deliberately split a mayonnaise in my life. I've done it accidentally loads of times. Sometimes it's if the air is a bit warm, it will go that way. And oh no, chucked a bit too much in. What are you gonna do? It does appear to have split. It's all liquid. It's not thick and emulsified. Oh no, my mayonnaise has split. <laughs> I mean, of all things to happen. So yeah, let's show you how to rescue it. This is some people call it a trade a broken mayonnaise i've never heard that expression before i recently researched it so I'll just call it a split one that was a tiny drop of cold water and the reason we do that is because um ramsey said so so don't argue with a man don't know why here you go add one egg yolk into a bowl and very very slowly add in in the same process we did in the one that worked the split mixture and it should work Sometimes when I've done this, the split mixture doesn't look thin and runny like this. It looks all sort of lumpy and curdly. In which case, just do it a spoon at a time. If you can't pour it in, spoon it in, but just keep whisking, just keep whisking, whisking, whisking. And you should get there. And you can see this is working. I do believe it's working, old boy. And there we go, almost there. As usual, excellent advice on the screen. If you're new around here, you're lucky enough to have found this amazing channel, so you don't miss out in future. Click that subscribe button. Right then, I thought, well, mayonnaise is a bit straightforward a video, so let's just uh, put together a sarni for me to take to work as me packed lunch. And what better what use of mayonnaise than a BLT? I've already mayonnaised the other slice of bread. It's a close up. 
what you do is you spread the mayonnaise backwards and forwards over the bread. And watch a BLT magically appear before your eyes. I chuck a bit of seeds in mine because it fools me into thinking that I'm healthy. And there we go. Just in case you didn't know what a BLT looks like. And there's a cross section. So the binging with Babiche fans out there. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So anyway, thank you very, very much for watching Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. I do hope you found this video entertaining and informative. Because that's really what it's all about, isn't it? And uh, while you're here, as I said already, click the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Make some comments. Ask me some questions. And... As I seductively spoon into the mayonnaise and let it fall off in slow motion. It's mayonnaise. It will thicken up in the fridge, that one. But if you want yours thicker than that, just increase the amount of oil. Another 50 mils and it will be thicker. Mayonnaise. Sorry, couldn't resist. Bye.